What is going on YouTube? One the X. I'm here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a vlog. Holy shit, look at that, a vlog. <laughs> now, I only have one class today and I decided that I wanted to ride. So, yeah, here we are, riding. You probably are actually 411 factory as just a commuter bike. <laughs> Nope, uh, so I had a video, I didn't like the way it looked, I recorded, didn't like the way it came out, so I have to redo it, it's an R1M review, and that will come out just uh, in a little while, I gotta redo it, I haven't been feeling very creative as of late, but cool news, I graduate here in less than 30 days, I am absolutely stoked. Uh, it has been a long time coming, but you know what? I feel like it's gonna be worth it, and that's kind of why I'm doing it. So what do we got in the pipe? Uh, let's see, I got some car content. I got some more. I got the second Bronco video of off-roading. I got a really sick supercharged Lamborghini to review. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, apparently there's some interesting little features about it that might make it tricky for me to review but you know we'll manage driving a lamborghini yeah terrible worst thing ever but yeah been crazy busy how y'all been let me know leave a comment down below what you guys been up to what new have you gotten into or how much of the same old same old you got going on i want to know let me connect with you all it's been a while as far as bikes go, uh, the Street Fighter is going to be getting the full Acropovic exhaust uh, with a tune that comes from Ducati. As I mentioned in my Instagram story, it is the safest and most uh, reliable tune that I can do without having any issues with warranty. I've heard great things, but I also know that electronics are going to do what they want to do, and if I brick an ECU, and I don't use something that is approved by Ducati, I am absolutely SOL with that ECU and I have to foot the bill. Obviously using something that's sanctioned by Ducati and it goes to shit, well, you know what? It's now under a warranty and I'm covered. So those of you that want to do tunes, while yes, there is a large majority of times you're perfectly fine, there are no issues with it, Electronics, electronics, they will do what they want to do sometimes, and some, all, sometimes all it takes is a bent pin, something to not communicate properly, a string of code to not go through, and you are effed. Just know that. Keep that in mind when you want to do tunes. So, yeah, as far as motorcycle riding goes, uh, I've, I've kind of, I don't want to say I've gone away from just like leisurely riding like I am now, or commuter riding. I really don't enjoy riding to work. That's just not fun to me. Uh, as far as riding on the street there, cruise we did last weekend where we went all the way down to Green Valley and some really fun roads. It was actually a nice ride and on the Street Fighter it was very comfortable. Yeah, these people, why can't you just pull up to begin with? Oh wait, because you're on your phone. Like this guy. Anyways, that ride was fun and I enjoyed it. But I'm finding that I, I like to say I'm amazing on the road, but I'm pretty damn good at riding on the street. You know, I've been doing it for many, many years. Whereas the track, oh man, that is a totally, totally different beast. And I am at the most novice of levels, even with the school. And it's been a source of, I want to say annoyance to me, but I'm one of those people that when I do something, I want to be the best at it for myself, like comparably to myself. Like when I get on the track for the first time, I want there to be a huge difference between that time and the next time. I'm going to get fucking rear-ended. So, <laughs> sorry, pay attention to the traffic. So, when I don't make a huge stride or I feel like I've gone backwards, the last thing I want to do is give up and I want to go actually right back to the track and practice. And unfortunately, there's some stuff I can do on the street, but the things I need to work on they're kind of hard to do on the street because of how much commitment you have to give. And then I'm talking about body position. So, yeah. Sorry, truck, that was close to you. So, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be doing some uh, private training here, like I did with my car, uh, except for I'm gonna do that training with a fine gentleman named Chris Paris. Maybe you've heard of him. He's the lead instructor at Champ School. Ha <laughs> ha, beauties of a motorcycle just kind of squeeze through there. I think I get to close, but it'll be okay. Anyways, uh, I'm with Chris Paris do a one-on-one -on -one session with me at the track and really kind of feel like when I was on this, I got another video coming about the pros and cons of a full fairing versus a more comfortable upright naked bike on the track. Uh, the pros and cons of that. I got that video coming. Uh, again, I recorded it and I wasn't a fan of how it turned out. Go figure. Sorry, I'm watching these, this guy run up on someone that isn't moving. <laughs> I'm very blown away by how the Street Fighter performed on the track. And we'll get into that on another video. But yeah, so I, I want to go and get more training because I, I just want to be really good at the track. I want to be fast. I want to feel if the level. I want to feel the level of comfort that I had when I was actually riding uh, through the champ school. The second day was the most at home I felt on the track uh, ever. And I love that feeling. And this last session I went out and I hopped between the bikes and I did not feel good on this at all. And then it took me half the day to feel good on the Street Fighter. So I want to fix that. And I know that track content really doesn't get all that much attention you guys like people doing wheelies and ripping down the streets and that's just honestly yeah that's not my thing i do like to have fun for sure but uh yeah just not my it's not my bag I let the pros do that uh, I, I am not one of those but anyways yeah uh crazy busy fun times graduating more content it's coming i promise it's just you know life life takes precedence over youtube <laughs> one day youtube will be life eh, i doubt it but maybe who knows oh you never know what happens you set out to do something just kind of for fun and then it ends up being uh something legitimate you never know oh boy but yeah so i gotta head home and finish getting ready for work and then go to work but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed uh this very quick vlog a little life update little direction we're doing some cool videos i got coming there is definitely some great content on its way uh so stay tuned um i am going to be going back to school again uh, i'm I don't know if it'll be January, uh, but I am going to be applying to Johns Hopkins for their Cary School of Business and working on my master's there. And I was debating if I was gonna take more time off or not. And I decided, nah, I'm just gonna hop right into it and just kind of continue on with this whole uh, trajectory of learning and getting more and more fancy pieces of paper that say I'm smart or something, I don't know. <laughs> But with that, I hope you guys enjoy this fun little, I don't want to say fun, but this little uh, vlog here. I don't do them that often because I don't know that I'm that interesting. But with that, you all have a good one. I'm out. Ha.